This is key. Did you know that the best men out there are not? Have you ever wondered if you're dating a high value man? Or perhaps you're a dude and you want to be seen by the ladies as a high value man. Have no fear. I'm going to help you out. Here are eight signs that you are dating a high value man or you're a high value man yourself. This list is not exhaustive by any means, but I really wanted to focus on eight important traits that a lot of people just don't talk about these days. Number one, emotionally available. Now this trait is part of a wider subject of emotional intelligence and emotional maturity, which are all vital signs of a high value man. But I want to focus on being emotionally available because this really isn't talked about as much as it should be. So what do I mean when I say emotionally available? A question that you should be asking or maybe you should be asking yourself when he's around loved ones, is he acting emotionally available? Meaning, does he stay open and vulnerable about what he's feeling to the people that he cares about? And on the flip side, does he create a safe environment around him himself where other people feel like they can express their emotions and be vulnerable as well. Can people trust him with their emotions? Can you trust him with your emotions? Trait number two, his word means something. A man's word is his bond. That is something my dad has always told me from a young age. If a guy doesn't have his word, honestly, he doesn't have anything. I'm just going to be real. We oftentimes think of a man who keeps his word as someone who keeps a really big, profound promise, like staying faithful in a marriage. But I'd argue we should actually be looking at, does this man keep the small all promises. No one is perfect. This guy is going to let you down at some point, right? But when he does slip up, maybe he forgets to pick you up from work. Maybe he forgot to get something at the store that he promised you. Does he feel genuinely bad that he's let you down? I think it's really important not just to look at the big promises that he makes you, but to look at the small promises as well. That's the real key to see if a man has his word. The third trait of being a high value man is that he is responsive to your needs. He may not always say the right things or do everything exactly how you need him to do it, but he learns. This is key. Did you know that the best men out there are not mind readers? A high value man is intentional in learning you, but make sure you uphold your end of the bargain by actually expressing and communicating your needs to him. Not just what you need, but how you need it. And also, like super important for a man is that as a woman, you show that you appreciate him. It can just be saying, hey, babe, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for helping me do this and this and this. Men just want to feel like they are appreciated. That means the world to them. Tell him, even if he didn't get everything right in a situation, tell him that you still appreciate the fact that he cared and that he tried. This really is a game changer in relationships that we all need to learn how to express our needs and we all need to be intentional about learning our partner. The fourth trait is Integrity. Now, this is one of the most important parts to a man along with his word, his integrity. In a world where people are constantly trying to sway you from your opinions, a high value man will know his morals, know his beliefs, know his values, and he stands up for them. He has principles and he will stand up for them in a room where it's uncomfortable and it's not popular and it's just awkward. He will still stand up for what is right to him. Ask yourself this question when no one's around or maybe it's just you and him, does he still stand for his principles or is it just a show for everyone else? When no one is there to applaud him, does he still stand for what he believes in or is he swayed? A high value man always does the right thing always. There is no angle. He just does the right thing. The fifth sign of being a high value man, he wants to improve without being asked. That last part is important without being asked. A high value man will always be looking for ways to improve himself. He won't need to be asked. He won't need to be nagged. He works on his self-development simply because it is a priority to him. It means a lot to him. He reads books not to show off, but just because he loves to learn. He takes care of his body because he takes pride in being healthy. And he also wants to look good for you. He runs after success. Not to brag about a paycheck, but to always make sure that he can provide for you in all the ways that he can. Number six, being generous. A high value man is always generous. He's generous with his time, he's generous with his emotions, and he's generous with his means. Did you know that through research in psychology that generosity has actually been linked to high value people in general? If you find a high value person, they will always be generous. If you find a man that gives without thought of return or maybe an angle to it, then I promise you he's a keeper. Trust me. But guess what? Pretending to be generous, like doing it with the wrong intentions or the wrong heart. Uh, for example, maybe he offers to pay for your meal, but you secretly know that he's going to claim that off as an expense from work, but yet he's going to expect you then to pay 
for him like later on. That's not being generous. In fact, it's worse than being stingy and tight. Number seven, humility. Now this is a less glamorous trait, but I'd argue that it is one of the most important ones. A man who stays humble in the highs and the lows of life is precious and rare. Everyone has flaws. Like no one is perfect. No man is going to be perfect. No man is gonna do everything right. He's going to mess up and there's gonna be times where he's going to mess up big. But a high value man will see his weaknesses and also difficulties in life as an opportunity to grow. And not only that, he will stay humble enough to ask for help when he needs it. And he will also learn what he needs to know. I cannot tell you how much humility is a game changer when you're looking for a high quality man that you wanna spend the rest of your life with. Because you want to spend the rest of your life with someone who is humble. <laughs> because pride is one of the biggest killers of relationships. The eighth trait of being a high value man, he's respectful. Respect is a foundational quality in any good man and also in any good relationship. He should always respect you in every way. That is a no brainer. But what about when you guys disagree on something? Does he respect you and your beliefs and opinions when they differ from his own? Does he stay respectful when your views directly oppose his? That is the real test because you are not going to find a man who you are going to agree 100% with on everything. There should also be a healthy respect for your relationship as a whole. For example, he doesn't need to ask your permission to go out with his friends, but instead he chooses to include you in the decision process of that. Especially if he's like being asked to go clubbing or go out for a drinks or go for maybe a lad's weekend, he makes a decision with you whether he's going to be going or not. That is a part of having love and respect for you and also for the relationship. If you would like to learn science-backed ways to attract us ladies, or maybe you're a girl and you want to check out my research to make sure it's valid, make sure you click on the next video.